In severe blepharitis, when the meibomian glands are blocked, sometimes they can become um, completely blocked and then the meibomian secretions don't come out at all and you can get a cyst formation and that's known as a, a, a chalazion um, which can uh, be quite painful and can also result in a lump on the lid that doesn't disappear for a while. Uh, it's very important if you do get a chalazion to initially start doing warm compresses. Traditionally we used to call that hot spoon bathing um, and that used to apply heat to the lid and tried to unblock the blockage of the meibomian gland. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, often chalazia develop because you have blepharitis, so we need to use tablet forms of treatment. Um, and in, in cases where the, the lump doesn't disappear, sometimes we have to uh, bypass the drainage by doing a, a small uh, bit of surgery under local anaesthetic. So the most important thing once you've developed a chalazia is to treat the underlying disease, and often that's associated with blepharitis of some form. So it's important once you've had it and you've had the treatment for it to continue with the compresses for at least six months to a year.